championships in college because I hadn't done a lot of four-year college training. I transferred from a junior college, and I went to Washington State on a scholarship. And, and, and a lot of times, a coach would want to have a guy come in as a freshman so they can instill their program. Well, I only had two years to get the program, OK? Um, and I didn't have two years. I didn't have four years. I only had two. I wanted to go to NCs. They have indoor uh, national championships, and they have outdoor national championships. Well, my, what would be my junior year, my first year there, I didn't go anywhere. Wasn't fast enough, wasn't skilled enough, because I didn't understand it. It's my first time running indoors. I'm a California kid on the West Coast. We don't have a lot of indoor meets because everything's outside. Uh, up in Washington, you know, it snows, so they have indoor facilities. So they have a focus on indoors. So it's a lot of, of uh, things I was ignorant of when it came to running you know, a, a type of meet, an indoor meet opposed to an outdoor meet, the preparation for those two. So in my senior year, I made the indoor um, championships. Didn't run exceptionally well, but I made it. Wasn't on the radar, no one knew about me. Then outdoors came, and I didn't run particularly fast. I just ran consistent at a PR for me, 13.8. You know, I ran consistently at 13.8 in cold weather. So, to me, it was perfect training for when I got to some warmer climates. Fortunately for me, at, the, uh, at uh, Oregon, at the championships that year, it was warm. So I guess my body just woke up because I ended up running uh, some of the fastest times in the nation that year. And then I went on to, in, to just through the rounds. They had three rounds. And each race, I ran the fastest time in the nation, each round. And then the last round, you know, the final, I won. Now, all these other guys have been there before. I mean, I'm looking at these guys, well, wow, that's, I read about him. You know, ooh, ooh, wow, we, you know, that's uh, such and such and such and such. You know, but when I crossed the finish line, when I lined up, it didn't matter because, to me, I just always want to be an All-American because in college, that's what they talk about, being an All-American. In high school, I wasn't highly touted. I was a regular guy, got third in my state meet, you know, ran 14-2. You know, went to junior college, won the state meet, ran 14-1. So I wasn't, I wasn't blazing fast. I developed slowly over the years because of work ethic, because of patience, because of the people who were around me. You know, the Dan O'Briens and the Tony Campbells of this world. And so to win a national championship when they do all the, you know, the pre-meet kind of, of, of uh, who's going to win, who's going to get second, so on and so forth, those d determiners, you know, um, I wasn't in the mix. So to be All-American is all I wanted to be. In the race itself, he asked me that question. I said, okay, I got out very, 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 very slow. I was the last person to the first hurdle by far. And uh, as, I got, as I went through the race, I can see people in front of me. Now, I don't, I don't tell people to look, but when you're so far behind, you can't help but see people <laughs> in front of you. And so I kind of counted like, okay, I'm a fifth place All-American. Started to move up. Oh, I'm a third place All-American. And I'm thinking this in the race. And all of a sudden, the last two hurdles, no one there. And I couldn't believe I won. So records aside, you know, American record, I was ha very happy about that. But it was a, a hugest, the hugest surprise to me was winning the NCAA championship.